When Claudius was emperor, he took Vespasian with him in his conquest of Britain. He told the general that he could have his son Titus go to the imperial court to be educated. While Titus was there, he became good friends with the emperor's son. In fact, years later, when Nero became emperor, Titus was sitting next to his friend when Nero poisoned him. Titus even took a sip from the poisonous cup. Of course, it didn't kill him, but he became deathly sick for some time. While he was there, he excelled in the military arts, also became a poet and an orator. After his education, he joined the military and went up through the ranks, serving in Germany and Britain and several other campaigns, till finally his father asked him to join him to be second in command to put down the Jewish revolt. It was there that Titus excelled. Ten years before the revolt, King Agrippa and his sister Bernice were a part of a trial for the Apostle Paul. Paul, in his speech, directed part of it right straight towards Agrippa and says, I, 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 you, you know these things are true. You believe it, don't you? I know you believe. Agrippa interrupted him and said, Paul, do you? You think you can just talk to me for a few minutes and that I would become a Christian? Well, ten years later, during the revolt, he and his sister went to Jerusalem to talk to the rebels there, to try to convince them to put this thing down. And they, even though he gave a passionate speech, uh, the people rejected him, even burned down his palace and almost killed him. The two of them left Jerusalem heartbroken. But it was some time later when they realized that they would have to uh, help the Romans in their conquest. When Titus got there, he became a good friend with both of them. In fact, it wasn't too long before he and Bernice were living together. The plan was to, for Vespasian to go first to Galilee and to conquer it. Once he subdued all of the villages and the fortresses and the cities, he turned his army south to go towards Jerusalem. Along the way, he got word that Nero had committed suicide. He stopped his army. He waited for further instructions from the new emperor, he then sent Titus to go to Rome and to uh, assure him of their support, but also possibly to get further instructions. Before Titus could get to Rome, he heard that the new emperor had been killed. And then he heard that there was a commander leading his army towards Rome with the intent of killing that emperor and taking his position. He thought it best not to continue to roam and run the chance of being taken hostage by one side or the other. So he turned around, went back to Judea to be with his father. Soon they heard that, yes, that commander had succeeded, and it was now the new emperor. Oh, Vespasian knew that he was not fit for the job. Left alone, he could ruin the empire. He realized that to solve this problem, he himself would have to become emperor. He laid out his plans of, what, of exactly how he was going to do that. The plans included leaving Titus in, Jerusalem, in Judea to take care of the revolt. Titus immediately put the city of Jerusalem under siege. He pulled together his war machine, which included uh, uh, catapults that would throw in huge rocks and firebombs. He built a high structure so his people could look over the top of the walls and direct the bombs as they were going in. 
Didn't have to do that on the east side because the Mount of Olives was there. He stripped the mount of all their olive trees, used the wood, but also used it as an advantage to see an end to the city. This went on for four months. During that time, the feast of the Passover happened, and some non-rebel Jews went to Titus and asked for his permission to go into the temple and celebrate Passover in, uh, there. He granted their, uh, their, their request and let them go in. Ah, but when the festival was over, he refused to let them come back out. He used this as a way to further tax their limited food and, and water supplies. In time, he realized that the rebels were going through a civil war of their own. Different factions were fighting against one another, which led to bitter street fights. Josephus went to try to negotiate a, a, a peaceful surrender. They refused, even though he noticed that they were exhausted from the famine inside the city. Titus continued his assault on the city, finally broke through the temple gates, burnt the city and the temple when the fire was done, he sent people back in to disassemble the rest of Jerusalem. His intent was to, uh, was to erase all memories of the name Jerusalem. He was offered the victory wreath. He refused to wear it. He said that, I know that... Uh, I did not win this battle on my own. I was but a tool used by the Judean God to display his wrath upon his people. But when he got back to Rome, he did have a, a triumphal entry. Years later, they built the Arch of Titus, which depicts the, him bringing the spoils of the temple into the, into the city. Uh, it shows the menorah and the trumpets of Jericho. After he was into the city, he got involved in the administration of his father as emperor. He became his secretary. Uh, 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 that gave him the authority to go into the Senate and represent his father there. He then took on the uh, position of captain of the, of the Praetorian Guard whose job it was to protect the emperor. Titus became renowned for his way that he treated those who would plot against his father. He, 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 he often just executed the people right there on the spot. It was during this time that um, Bernice came and openly lived with him in the palace as if she was his wife. Oh, the, 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 the Roman people, uh, they didn't approve of this at all. Uh, 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 to them, she looked like an eastern queen and reminded them of Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. <laughs> they, the, the Senate even passed a ruling that he couldn't become emperor if she was his wife. Finally, when they were rebuked at the uh, public theater, Titus yielded to the pressure and sent her away. Vespasian ruled for 10 years with Titus at his side. When he finally died, Titus immediately became emperor. He was the first one to uh, become emperor, taking the place of, of a natural, uh, of a of a biological father. After he became emperor, the people were concerned that maybe some of his faults would turn him into another Nero. Ah, but they were pleased when they saw how well he ruled in what an excellent way. Uh, they realized that his Vices were actually virtues. First thing he did 
was he, his first act as emperor was to do away with the treason trials that had to do with slander. Uh, in the uh, Roman Republic, uh, these were limited only to those who were directly involved in revolution. But Augustus had, a, had, had added to it to include slander and, and, and libel. This terrorized the Roman political system for, for, for generations. Uh, different limpers used it. Uh, Tiberius and, and Caligula and Nero used it to their advantage. Titus did away with it. He said, it is, it is impossible for me to be insulted by verbal abuses. I don't care what people falsely say about me. Well, at this time, uh, Bernice came back. It was her thinking that now that he was uh, emperor, that he wouldn't have to care what the Senate said about her. She was surprised to, that he sent her away. He became known for his, for his generosity. A day came when he realized he went through the whole day without being a benefit to anybody, had not helped anybody. He said, I have lost a day. In his two years as emperor, he did not have any political conflict, any military conflict, but he did have disasters. It was just two months after his rule that Mount Vesuvius erupted. It, uh, 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 it destroyed the cities around the, the Bay of Naples, including Pompeii. Uh, Superheated gases shot up upwards to, they say, 21 miles. It, it put forth uh, molten rock and, and hot ash at a rate of one and a half million tons every second. It, it was more powerful. It was 100,000 times more powerful than the atomic bombs used in World War II. It spawned earthquakes throughout the region. One of them was so strong, it, it produced a tsunami that hit the Bay of Naples. Titus sent representatives down to Pompeii to, 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 to help with the, re, with the relief. He personally gave of his own money to help those that were displaced. He then, when the proper time came, to, he went and visited the area. He visited the second time a year later. While he was there, a destructive fire hit Rome. Well, it wasn't as bad as the one back in Nero's day, but it was devastating. And especially, it destroyed a lot of historic buildings. Again, Titus gave from his personal money to help those who were affected by it. And then, a plague hit Rome as a result of the fire. He only ruled for two years. He had an earthquake. He had a, he had a volcano. He had a tsunami. He had a fire. He had a plague. The Jewish people of that day believed that God was judging him because he destroyed the temple. And then he heard that his brother was plotting against him. He wouldn't believe it. He didn't have him exiled or, or, or killed. He just didn't believe it. He finished the construction of the Colosseum that his father had, had started, then brought about 100 days of celebration of games. It was elaborate. Afterwards, he started a trip to a territory. His very first stop station, he called a fever. And he died at the very place where his father had died two years before. His brother Domitian became emperor after him. His first act as emperor was to deify Titus. 
The last words of Titus were, I have made but one mistake.